Good morning. It is a pleasure to be here this morning to talk about how modern analytics can help fight one of the biggest threats to public health. The outbreak of infectious diseases still takes millions of lives and costs billions of dollars every year. Outbreaks are typically caused by pathogens such as bacteria, virus, or fungi. Those pathogens are microorganisms that can cause diseases due to the presence of virulence factors in their composition, which make them able to inv invade and colonize the host, to actually produce toxins, to evade the host's immune systems, and more. And even though some of those virulence factors are actually encoded in the genome of the pathogens, not all pathogens were born that way. You see, some microorganisms actually become pathogens due to the horizontal transfer of virulence genes from one microorganism to another. And the world today seems to be hard at work to create the perfect bad setting to accelerate these transfers of genes. Global warming keeps extending the geographic reach of mosquitoes and ticks. And along with uh, um, the natural disasters and political crisis, it's causing mass migrations, increasing the density, the population density of humans and disease vectors in areas with poor sanitation and with exposure to contaminated food and water. Now, more than ever, we actually need to understand the genomic composition of pathogens so that when an outbreak occurs, we can treat the sick, we can stop contamination, and we can avoid future occurrences. We can prevent future occurrences. One way of analyzing pathogens is by actually first taking a collection of an entire microbiome, like human fluids or contaminated water, and those biomes actually contain the combination of genetic material across many microorganisms. But then we use a culture-based approach to isolate a pathogen of interest, and then we do a whole genome sequencing of that pathogen, and we analyze its genome against virulence factors that may be causing the disease. And while this is a huge scientific breakthrough, it doesn't come without its challenges. You see, culture may take a long time, not all pathogens can be isolated, and some pathogens can actually evolve and mutate during the cultural process. But the biggest challenge actually resides on the fact that some diseases are caused by a combination of virulence genes that may be present within, collocated within a single pathogen, but that may also be scattered across pathogens within a microbiome, making it almost impossible to spot that combination when pathogens are analyzed in isolation. At Dell EMC, we create technologies that drive human progress. And we are investigating a next-generation outbreak surveillance system that actually sequences all microorganisms within a biome, completely eliminating the isolation process and without actually stopping to reassemble the genome of the individual microorganisms and using modern big data analytics to actually analyze all the virulence factors in the microbiome itself to spot combinations that were unknown or known. Using these principles, we actually simulated a scenario where, uh, of a distributed set of sequencing centers where each center sequences the entire biome sample and then uses analytics to compare the sequence reads generated against a set of well-known virulence factors, finding combinations that cause diseases and allowing for near real-time diagnostic analysis. But we didn't stop there. We actually extended the Hadoop framework to orchestrate the distributed parallel computation across clusters scattered worldwide, where we push computation as close as possible to the data source, 
And then we combine those results to do a worldwide scale analytics. You see, if a single Hadoop instance is represented by one single elephant, we actually concluded that a set of Hadoop instances is scattered across the world, but work in tandem actually created a worldwide herd. And that's what we named our Hadoop extensions. Using WWH, we actually wrote a distributed application where each sequencing center also calculates the profile of virulence factors in all the biomes it has sampled. Then each sequencing center sends that profile to a center that has been selected to do a global computation. That center then uses bi-clustering to identify combinations of virulence factors among subsets of the microbiomes in microbiomes that have been sampled anywhere in the world. With that approach, we have been able to not only identify the onset of outbreaks, but we can potentially identify new combinations, new patterns of virulence factors that may characterize new diseases. At Dell Technologies, one way we drive human progress is by actually helping fight the outbreak of infectious diseases. So please come to our sessions to learn more, but always throughout this week, think big, think data, think big data. Thank you very much.